We're here today on Tuesday the 1st of December and our reading is from Isaiah 42 verses 1 to 9. Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one in whom I delight. I will put my spirit on him and he will bring justice to the nations. He will not shout or cry out or raise his voice in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break and a smouldering wick he will not snuff out. In faithfulness he will bring forth justice. He will not falter or be discouraged till he establishes justice on earth. In his law the islands will put their hope. This is what God the Lord says. He who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spread out the earth and all that comes out of it, who gives breath to its people and life to those who walk on it. I, the Lord, have called you in righteousness. I will take hold of your hand. I will keep you and will make you to be a covenant for the people and a light for the Gentiles, to open eyes that are blind, to free captives from prison and to release from the dungeon those who sit in the darkness. I am the Lord, that is my name. I will not give my glory to another or my praise to idols. See, the former things have taken place and new things I declare. Before they spring into being, I announce them to you. There's a song we've often sung in church, um, especially with the children, and we've done it in some of the schools too. Um, at the start of the song there's uh, two verses, a brilliant question and answer, and I'm going to sign those for you now. The world is searching for an answer. A ray of hope in a hopeless world. Who can we turn to? Where is our rescue? There is someone. He's the answer. He's the light. And he will light the way. His name is Jesus. And he came to save us. Let's take some time to reflect. What themes ring out from these Bible verses? What promises are there for us to take hold of? Are we the ones who are blind and need releasing from the prisons we have made? The way out is lit by Jesus, the light of in and for the world. You can find these reflections and the written script of the reflections on our website at www.bhcgodalming.org. If you go to Christmas and Advent 2020, you'll find it all there. Let's pray. Almighty God, Give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and to put on the armour of light. Now in the time of this mortal life in which your son Jesus Christ came to us in great humility. That on the last day when we shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge the living and the dead. We may rise to the life immortal through him who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.